In a world full of accolades and degrees, there's that one degree that every mother wishes her daughter to get. I am talking about that MRS degree. My name is Yinka Ladera, and today on Real Talk, we're here at Zolin Restaurant in Ikoyi, where we'll be talking all about the things that our mothers never told us about marriage. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, ladies. How are Hi. you? How are you guys good, doing? Good, good. 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 How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Congratulations are in order. But I'm here. Congratulations on your engagement. She's like, thank you. And I, <laughs> and I feel like we're all person out because right. you're married. You're married. You're engaged. Mm -hmm. Almost married. So. so it's like I'm out of the circle. Is no, this like an exclusive? No, no, is this no, an exclusive like, group? No, 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 the circle is it's complete. It's complete, yeah. actually. Okay. So whatever we're talking about, I'm sure. We have experience. Yeah, we have, we have exactly. experience. Okay. All right. Well, we I want to know. So when you guys got engaged, did you not feel like you'd entered an exclusive group of you know, women me, being elite? I, I didn't feel that way. No, I didn't feel, no, that, way. I didn't feel that way. I feel that way. I had friends that were um, married before, before I, even got I got engaged. Yeah, yeah, and so and I, I still, still have cool. single friends. <laughs> yeah. I still have, in fact, my, I have a lot of friends that are very, they are very single. <laughs> very single, not in a relationship. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. So I, I didn't, didn't, you didn't feel that way. For me. I didn't. Okay. I didn't because know. my mom has been badgering me about getting. So okay. So guys, I have three degrees, right? Wow. But my, yeah, you would think, right? But my mom, <laughs> you know, my mom doesn't care. She wants my MRS. Yeah. You know, wow. my master's of uh -huh. uh, residential services. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she needs me to be a wife. No, oh. I think mothers are like that. So know. she actually doesn't yes. care about the degrees. I mean, she, I mean, on my graduation day, she was like, yay, congratulations. But so now you're going to get married. Yeah. And I'm wow. like, I'm not even dating nobody. <laughs> I don't have anybody. <laughs> and it's now like this huge marriage thing, which got me thinking when it comes to marriage, everyone's always telling you the upsides of it. Oh, you should do it. You'll find the person, your best yeah. friend, the rest mm -hmm. of your life. But then it got me to think that there are things about marriage that our mothers don't tell us about. Sure. There are yeah. things that we will never, ever know, yeah. right? Because yeah. as a proper yoga girl that I am, I'm raised <laughs> that, you know, you're not going to have sex until you're married. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then you get married and then like what like what, what is you, supposed to you know what now? I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like now that you're married, like how does that change once you're married and sex? Mm -hmm. Is it still this thing that you're trying to figure out or mm -hmm. should you know? I think um, it depends on, let's say, the couple. Mm -hmm. um, these days, we thank God for places like YouTube and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so many um, websites. You can learn anything you want to learn from. Mm -hmm. I think it takes a while to find your is it rhythm or mm -hmm. balance or mm -hmm. whatever it is mm -hmm. and your rhythm comfort balance. zone okay. and, and all of that. So mm -hmm. it, it's just a process because marriage is like this never-ending learning. Yeah. University. That's like, what my mom always says. So she says, and I'm gonna butcher this because my yoga is horrible. But she says, Ileoko ni Ileoko. As she always says, you can't graduate. <laughs> you, you can just, never you can graduate. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you're always, you're learning. always learning. So I guess mm -hmm. if you feel like you, you may feel like you've gotten all your tricks and all your, mm -hmm. but you get married now and um, yeah. Mm -hmm. To be and honest, think, let's be let's be realistic. Some people have started doing these things even before marriage. Before so let's not forget your background or anything. Mm -hmm. She gets so I mean for, for I feel is it's very dependent on the couple like she said. Like mm -hmm. I, I know I was talking to somebody once and he told me that it took him fifteen years to know how to like how to make his yes. Why I never can say this. Yeah. Had to um, <laughs> accomplish the task. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and that he took that that's so like when it finally happened he was like ah so what have you been doing? This is, this is you know? <laughs> so um, I, I really feel like it depends on the husband and the wife. Yeah. You have to be able to find it. Some people just pretend like, oh, it's so great. But yeah. it, it's a, mm -hmm. you know? yeah. <laughs> so, so he has yeah. a lot to do with you, the couple. You, you have to talk about it. You know, there's mm -hmm. no, if you want to make each other happy in that regard, you have to talk about it. That's there's the no best pretending. way to pretending. There's no pretending. It's not, and you, well, talking about it, but talking about it in a gentle way, you know, you don't want to hurt mm -hmm. your husband's feelings. You don't want to hurt your wife's feelings and say, oh my gosh, it's so terrible. That's, yeah. that's not how <laughs> you're going to say it. But I, I feel like people put a lot of pressure on sex, especially when it comes into marriage. Do you guys think that it's, what would you say is the most important aspect of marriage? I think it's communication. communication. For me, I mean, I've only been married for four months, so what do I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think, I think so far for me, it's, it's been communication. Just being able to talk about 
every and anything, which is difficult. You know, you yeah. think it's easy. It wasn't until I got into marriage that I realized that I, I really want to say this thing. <laughs> 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 you know, so it's learning to know when to say things. I want yeah. to say this thing. And it's okay for me to say it, but is it the right time for me to say it? You know, mm -hmm. I have to be aware of my husband's feelings. He has to be aware of mine. Okay. So we, we, we have this understanding naturally, but it's, I think the most important thing for us hasn't been sex. It's been just being able to talk about, yeah. you know, everything. Okay, but, I, oh, no, go ahead. No, I was going to say, oh, apart from communication, expectations, I mm -hmm. feel like when people get married, everybody's coming in with their bag of expectations. Yeah. I yeah. expect my wife to do this. I expect my husband to do this. And true. no marriage is the same. Mm. Yeah, true. So when people come in with expectations like that, mm -hmm. let's say, you know, like trailer, mm -hmm. just come <laughs> just like that. And yeah. then he's coming yeah. the next thing, you know. <laughs> disappointment wow. everywhere because maybe you're thinking oh my wife the way i saw this guy's wife his wife cooks breakfast lunch dinner wow. packs him lunch it's for it's work it's actually a challenge it's, and it's, then it's, the next thing your wife is not doing it and you're like madam why what are you doing yeah. expected wow. and then you you're like oh your mates are buying porsche and all that oh yes. yeah yes. where's my assurance <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. So you start comparing because there are so many expectations, yeah, social you see media, so many and you see so many things on and that kills, Instagram. That actually kills a lot of Why are you things. not taking pictures of me like this? Look Why am I not on your page? They're always yeah. taking pictures. Why are you not posting yeah. my my face on your, your WhatsApp? Yeah. Or what? There are so many expectations. What's so I think that, that's true. managing the expectations when you get into marriage is... In so you think that in a marriage there should be absolute full disclosure. There should never be any secrets, any white lies. Yes, because for, for someone like <clears throat> me, I'm very forgetful. So I would rather just say everything so that I don't have to be remembering the story I told you mm -hmm. 10 years ago that you're not like, eh, but that guy you, you, told, you told me this. But so it's just <laughs> better to say everything as it is so that there's nothing... There's no secret, there's nothing. I mean, if you're hidden. feeling, I think, okay, this is where it is, right? If you're feeling guilty about it, yes, then you've done something wrong. wrong. Mm -hmm. If your yeah. conscience is pricking you. Yes. But if you are, if you don't feel like, oh my gosh, should just, I tell him, should I not tell him? The moment you start feeling, should I tell him, should I not tell him, then you, <laughs> you, you should probably choose. how you feel guilty, yo. <laughs> but do you, do you, do you, how, how, how do you feel you guilty? Know, there are levels to this thing. <laughs> See, some people will do some things, eh? And then, you know, they would, you might not feel so bad. Yeah. But then you would do the same thing. I'm like, oh Jesus, I've cheated. Because yeah. some people are just even hug. Some people might just just hug like a guy, yeah, yeah. Mm. not I'm their husband. Like, mm. Cheated. But some people will hug. Mm, you know, and they're fine. They don't mm. have. I then it's it on the back. back. That's what I was it's saying. Exactly it goes back. But guilty. what I'm saying as a general rule, because I'm thinking back to like my parents' marriage, and I'm thinking like, did my mom always tell my dad everything? Did my dad always tell my I mom think, everything? Hmm. I think that you're not really supposed to say anything, not everything, not because you're keeping secrets, mm -hmm. but it is wise not to say it. everything. Exactly. Yeah. But you just said you should tell. No, you, no, no, in that everything. situation, mm -hmm. you would. But there are some things that it doesn't, if I go and do my hair now, I don't have to tell you everything. Mm -hmm. As long as whatever I'm holding back is not hurting anybody, yeah, anybody. It does not have, but I go yeah. to that kind of event, I'll tell you. Yeah. So it, this is not like, oh, I'm intentional. I, I don't know how to explain. You have to personally wait. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like you, you just mm -hmm. make a, a careless right. statement, mm -hmm. and before you know it, your partner just put it in their hand like this. That's what they call it. Put it in yeah. their <laughs> hand. Yeah. I mean, it's like you you're saying a else. seed. Put it in your yeah, head. Yeah, and then one day they unravel, head. like, you said this, this, and they start connecting. Or you dots, say, dots. Or, or maybe you have a crush on a guy, you know, mm. and you just go like, oh, there's this guy at work. I like, and and you're just like, oh my gosh, he's so fine. <laughs> Right, you said it innocently, but what you and don't know you've done is was probably you, 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 so and he was, was probably laughing, laughing. So right? And you thought it was okay, but you saw the seed in his heart. So, so when you see the guy hugging you, he's gonna be like, that hug was too tight. It was too tight, and to you, it was, and it was just nothing. Okay, so it seems like everyone is saying that you shouldn't tell your husband everything. You, even mm -hmm. not there's everything. There's nobody that tells everything. And everything, there's, yeah. I, I don't think there's anybody that mm -hmm. tells. I feel like it's depending on what what happens, but anything that you feel like would would not make him happy would have an impact or yeah. have a problem yeah. with, I think you should say because to be honest you don't know who can be there 
But what about yeah. things that happened before you and him even got together? No, no, that's no, not that's, really that's, that's, that's not that's uh, not really. Really. No. No, no, it doesn't really It's count. not like it doesn't count. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me explain, let me explain. Let me explain what we are saying. What we are okay. saying, what we are saying, or what I think they're saying and I'm saying uh. is that it's not that it doesn't count, but as long as it's not going to have any impact. It's not like, okay, you have a child. Okay. Do you well, understand? That's, that's, You're going to continue to have deep. a child. If, if whatever happened in the past is in the past, it's not going to have an impact on our own relationship, then I don't care to know about it. But if it's unless, a continuing... Unless it was a direct question, did... Okay, well, I feel like there's so many loopholes going on. No, 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 Because yeah. relationships are complicated. Mm -hmm. So... How many people have you met before you met your husband? Not met in like. But you know, it's a small. But it's a small world. It's mm -hmm. a small world. But I don't expect my husband to know everything that's happened before we got married. Yeah, and, and I don't expect to know him as well. And be like, oh, we were classmates in primary school. I wanted to bring up finances. Yeah. Because that's you know they always say that most marriages end because of finances mm -hmm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, how? What are some lessons that you've learned while you were mad that you didn't know that they didn't tell you in regards to that? I thought lessened financially. Talk about it. Don't, don't be afraid. I mean myself and my husband before we got married we, we were pretty open about our finances. I mean, you have to be, when you're planning for wedding and you're planning wedding, yeah, you talk. You have to be I don't open. have, do you understand? Yeah. You have to be open. It's a matter of, it's a matter of, um, and we, we didn't specifically say, oh, you'll be responsible for this or you'll be responsible for that. But it just kind of uh, worked out for us. Take, for example, I don't have a car account. We have just one car. My husband drives it. So because he's driving, he buys the groceries. Because he says to me, like, does he expect me to start jumping balls to go and buy yes. it? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. We didn't have a conversation. It just kind of happened. We just kind of fell into that routine. Okay, what do we need? What? I'll pick it up on my way from. And it works. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you understand? And then there are other things I might pick up in the house. Oh, maybe something needs to be fixed. Will I now start waiting for my husband to come? To so come it just. Yeah. So we talk. We we're very comfortable talking about. I know some people say, oh, don't tell your husband everything you're yeah. earning, or don't tell your wife everything you're earning. But I'm not going to That's see true. my husband in a financial, you know, situation now, and then I'll have. And then not be able to help yeah. or not be able to and step in. Another one is like, yeah, like, like let's say keeping things. joint accounts. Mm -hmm. That's always an issue, issue when yeah. when when people get married. And for me, I've never had or let's say known anybody to have joint accounts before mm -hmm. I got married. Mm -hmm. And then my husband came from the background of oh, yeah, joint, joint account is is standard. That's the standard you should mm -hmm. have. And I fought it back for a while because I just felt. If we have joint account, I've lost my individuality. Like, mm -hmm. I can't just go and buy lashes now. I, mean, <laughs> like, I just can't go and do what I want to do. And that was the angle I was looking at it from. But he was looking at it from the angle of it signifies togetherness. Like, we are, we are doing everything together. Mm -hmm. So after a while, I had to see a reason. Like, oh, okay, coming from your angle, if that's what you are saying, togetherness, mm -hmm. then togetherness is good. Okay, so I wanted us to kind of end on this note. Um, we've talked about, you know, being a wife, being a fiance, you know, <laughs> yeah. newly uh, married. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to know, is marriage an accomplishment? It's an mm -hmm. accomplishment when I've done 20 years marriage mm -hmm. anniversary. Mm -hmm. uh, hell. So at 20 years, you will like feel like that like Yes, I will that feel stayed. like yes. mm. You know, that yes. stayed with we all the, yeah. we've, we've uh -huh. gone through all everything. The, yeah. All the things that, you know, our fathers mm -hmm. saw. You know, sometimes yeah. you're Yoruba now, yeah. your mom will tell you, ah, hey. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm on you. Like, you know, yeah. I stayed back yeah. because of you people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because, you know, parents have, I mean, our generation is totally different from our parents' generation. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't have that threshold for, mm -hmm. you know, holding things, you know, okay, let me just, I will just calm down mm -hmm. and let them go. No, any small thing. Okay, so, like I said before, I'm an event planner. Yeah. And um, two Decembers ago, like two years ago, um, somebody called off her wedding, like, okay, she will get married on. Thursday and Saturday. She called her wedding on Tuesday. No. This is not. They had spent over twenty million naira on oh, that wow. wedding. It wasn't my wedding. A fellow planner that was telling me about it. Mm -hmm. They had paid her full money, everything. Mm -hmm. Why? Because she found out something that till today nobody she knows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she found out something. And then you have people that you know they get into the, the marriage and then they're going through a divorce or mm -hmm. something. Not because of anything, but because maybe they got in and then they were expecting their husband to be flying them around the world mm -hmm. and then yeah. he's just there saying, okay, let's go to Ghana for honeymoon mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. Do you understand what mm -hmm. I mean? So 
Ah, think... what do you mean? I need to Ghana <laughs> for my own. Uh, when yeah, I say yeah, Ghana, yeah. I don't mean like <laughs> to the bad place. Yeah. I mean for people that have high expectations. <laughs> that, oh, why are we not going okay. to Bali? Nice Bora, Bora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the corners yeah, and all that stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, Mauritius, yeah. Yeah. So, you, so you, have, you have cases like that. So, I feel like, like you said, I feel like staying in marriage, like most of our parents have done, Mm -hmm. Is the accomplishment, the accomplishment. because it's not easy for you you to stay with one person, yeah, you know, for a very long time, and relating to that person, yeah, forever. forever. Do you think your husband should know about your past in your marriage, the life you've been living, and the things you've been doing in the past? Yes, it's very, very, very important. Because if you don't get to tell him now, it will come home to you in future. If you don't get to make him see reason why some things have happened in the past, he will still find out. And there is no way you're going to explain yourself to that part. I realize that marriage is patient. Which nobody told me about that. Yeah, it's patient. Because, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, the two parties are coming from different family background. You understand? Uh, so the way I grew up as a man is different from the way my wife grew up. You understand the point? Uh, so, I like marriage is patient and you have to be in fact you have to endure. Which nobody told me about it. I always say that marriage is a good thing, either find the wife find a good thing. No. But when it comes to marriage, we now realize that in marriage, the way you see it, there is more to marriage. I'm not ma well first, I'm not married. So what I would say is understanding, communication and understanding. I guess these are the two most important things. It's not love, love is overrated. So in, in Africa setting, if as a grown-up lady, if you are not married, everybody will see that there's something wrong somewhere. So to me, I see Maria as an accomplishment between me and the female. My dear, marriage is never an accomplishment though. Okay, let's say someone that is 30 and the family is all over the person. Please go get married. 30, you're not married. This, you're not married. If you're married, you need to accompany this, that, that, that. In Nigeria here, my sister, aside from the family name that you're going to have from the man, aside from the fact that you're going to have children, you as a woman, what have you achieved? So to wrap up, and I want you guys to keep this very, very short. One thing, and we're going to do it one at a time so that everybody gets to speak. What is the one thing that you wish you knew about marriage? What's the one thing that your mo mother never told you about marriage? Um, I think for me it would be marriage is regarding just the two people involved. You can see a couple that may be going through stress, fighting, Maybe they've come to you, settle our fight and all that, and then you're taking sides. Oh, I'm taking the woman's side, I'm taking the man's side. At the end of the day, two of them will go back. If they decide to settle, they will go back, settle. And it is still between both of them. If the marriage is a success, it's still the both of them. If it's a failure, like it is just the two of you, no matter what. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm coming to learn that lately, especially when we have friends that are married, and sometimes we go to with our problems and sometimes they come and you're like, ah, these people, their problem is too much, it's too much. <laughs> but at the end of the day, marriage is for the two people that are involved, mm -hmm. no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. That's that's one. All right, what about you, Bank? I, I know you're not married. <laughs> I know you're not married. I know you're not married. But what is your one takeaway from this conversation that you've learned from these ladies? Um, the joint account mm -hmm. and many more stuff, actually. Mm. Yeah. I've learned from this. Couple. I think those two points are really good points yeah. to take away because they're things that you never really think about yeah, until you're actually, yeah, honestly, honestly mm -hmm. never ever thought about a joint account. <laughs> what did I just say? I think you need three accounts. I think you need to account, your own account, and a hair yeah. account. Yes. <laughs> 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 you need a hair person. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm not what you mean. All right, what are That's it, all right. Okay, um, for me, I think it would be that mm -hmm. in marriage, you have to learn how to bite your tongue. A lot, a lot. Oh. It's it's not everything. Even when you're angry, when you know when you're sad, it's not everything that you're thinking that should come out of your mouth, especially when you're angry. Um, I and it wasn't like I learned the hard way or anything. It was just a habit I cultivated when I got married. I realized that oh wow, this has actually saved us an argument because 20 minutes later we are laughing. And I'm thinking, if I'd mentioned it, then probably would have had a misunderstanding and whatnot. So I've learned to just bite my tongue and just swallow whatever it is and 
pick my battles, mm -hmm. you know? You don't want to be fighting about every single thing. Yeah. Thank you, ladies, once again, for being on the show. Thank you for having us. Of course. I learned a lot uh, from each and every single one of you guys, and uh, obviously navigating marriage, because it's really difficult. I'm not ready anytime soon, but um, <laughs> once I am, I'll be sure to revisit this. <laughs> Thank you guys at home for watching. As always, we encourage you to join the Indani family. So be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms at Indani TV, and use the hashtag Indani Real Talk. Like I always say, just because the conversation ends here, does not mean it has to end at home. So be sure to comment below in the comment sections what your views are on marriage. Maybe there's some points that we never brought up. Please be sure to let us know and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>